हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज इनवर्स ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन फॉर द अदर चैप्टर प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द प्लेलिस्ट लिंक और द वेबसाइट लिंक विल बी देयर ओके so here the first problem number 1 from inverse trigonometric function exercise 2.1 from your book ml agarwal so the first one is sin inverse 1 by root 2 okay so we can write down this one as sin inverse 1 by root 2 as x now if in the left hand side you have sin inverse just move sin in the right hand side so it will be here 1 by root 2 that one equal to sin x okay now you know that 1 by root 2 means sin pi by 4 so that one equal to sin x so by comparing both side x equal to pi by 4 okay it's very easy next one number 2 cos inverse 1 by 2 that one equal to x so here cos x equal to half half means here cos 60 okay cos 60 means pi by 3 So that means here x equal to pi by three. Now number three, number three here tan inverse root three that one equal to x. So that one equal to tan x equal to root three. Root three means here tan sixty that means again pi by three. So here also x equal to pi by three. Next one some number two one. In some number two one you have sec inverse 2 by root 3 let this one as x so here sec x equal to 2 by root 3 now 2 by root 3 is the value of sec sec pi by 6 that means here x equal to pi by 6 number 2 2 here cot inverse root 3 that one equal to x so that imply here cot it's not cos it's cot so cot x equal to root 3 now cot x equal to root 3 means it's cot cot pi by 6 that means 60 sorry 30 degree so this one here x equal to pi by 6 okay here x equal to pi by 6 now the third one third one you have here cosec inverse root 2 let this one as x so here cosec x equal to root 2 and that one equal to here cosec pi by 4 okay so x equal to here pi by 4 as your answer now next one sum number 3 1 sum number 3 1 cos inverse minus half let this one as x so we can write down this one as cos x equal to minus half okay cos x equal to minus half so as here the value of x uh, you have to find out the value of x here half so cos half means cos what cos 30 uh, it's root 3 by 2 so cos 60 degree okay that means cos pi by 3 cos pi by 3 equal to half but as here minus half then cos 2 pi by 3 that one equal to minus half okay cos 2 pi by 3 that one equal to minus half so write down here cos then here 2 pi by 3 so x equal to here 2 pi by 3 your answer now next one sum number 3 2 3 you have tan inverse minus 1 okay now tan pi by 4 that one equal to 1 you know that and 10 3 pi by 4 that one equal to minus 1 so if this one equal to here x then tan x equal to minus 1 that one equal to 10 3 pi by 4 so here x equal to 3 pi by 4 as your answer now next one here or you can also write down this one as minus pi by 4 okay So x equal to 3 pi by 4 or x equal to minus pi by 4, both are your answer. 
Now next one here sum number 3. Sum number 3 here you have cosec inverse minus root 2. Okay, so first let this one as x. So you can write down this one as cosec x equal to here minus root 2. Okay, so all of you know that cosec minus theta that one equal to minus cosec theta. Okay, cosec minus theta that one equal to minus cosec theta. So we can write down this one as here minus root 2. So here write down minus cosec and pi by 4 because the value of cosec pi by 4 equal to root 2. So here minus so minus cosec pi by 4 that means x equal to here minus pi by 4 that is your answer. So now some number 4 1 cot inverse minus 1 by root 3 equal to x. Okay. Uh, so you have to let down this one as cot inverse minus 1 by root 3 that one equal to x. So cot x equal to minus 1 by root 3. Okay. Now the value of cot 60. The value of cot 60 equal to minus, uh, sorry, 1 by root 3. So that means here pi by 3. So now according to the formula, you know that here cos, sorry, cot pi minus theta, that one equal to minus cos theta. Okay. Cot pi minus theta, that one equal to minus cot theta. So as here you have minus cot pi by 3. So you can write down this one as cot pi minus pi by 3. Now subtract it. So cot 2 pi by 3. So here x equal to 2 pi by 3. That is your answer. Now next one, sum number 2. In sum number 2 here, sec inverse minus 2 by root 3. Okay. Sec inverse minus 2 by root 3. Let this one as x. So sec x equal to minus 2 by root 3. And that one equal to here minus sec pi by 6. So minus sec pi by 6 means again sec pi minus pi by 6 from the previous chart. So here sec now 6 so 5 pi by 6. That means here x equal to 5 pi by 6 as your answer. Now next sum number 3. Sum number 3 here sin inverse minus 1 equal to x. That means sin x equal to minus 1. So minus sin pi by 2 because sin 90 equal to 1. So that means here x equal to here minus pi by 2. Okay. X equal to here minus pi by 2. Because you know that sin minus theta that one equal to minus sin theta. Now next one sum number 5. Sum number 5 1. Okay. So here cos inverse then cos 4 pi by 3 okay cos inverse cos 4 pi by 3 let this one as x so write down here cos x equal to cos 4 pi by 3 okay cos x equal to cos 4 pi by 3 now in the place of 4 pi by 3 you can write down this one as 2 pi minus 2 pi by 3 this one also 4 pi by 3 so cos 2 pi minus pi by 3 that means cos 2 pi minus theta equal to cos theta. So this one has 2 pi by 3. So that means here x equal to x equal to here 2 pi by 3 that is your answer. Okay. x equal to here 2 pi by 3 that is your answer. Next one number 2. Number 2 here sin inverse sin 4 pi by 3 that one equal to x so sin x equal to sin 4 pi by 3 now again 4 by pi by 3 means sin pi plus pi by 3 because you know that sin pi plus theta equal to sin theta okay sin pi plus theta equal to minus sin theta so write down here minus sin pi by 3 okay so this one equal to here sine minus pi by 3. So x equal to here minus pi by 3. That is your answer. Okay. x equal to here minus pi by 3. Now number 3. Number 3 here tan inverse. Then here tan. And this one here 3 pi by 4. 
that one equal to x so write down here 10 x equal to 10 here 3 pi by 4 okay now in the place of 3 pi by 4 you can write down pi minus pi by 4 okay that means 10 pi minus theta that one equal to minus 10 theta so minus 10 pi by 4 so this one here 10 minus pi by 4 so x equal to here minus pi by 4 as your answer now next sum number 6 sum number 6 1 here cos inverse then cos 5 pi by 3 okay let this one as x so cos x equal to cos 5 pi by 3 now in the place of 5 pi by 3 you can write down here 2 pi minus pi by 3 so cos 2 pi minus theta equal to cos theta that means here x equal to pi by 3 as your answer next number 2 number 2 here 10 inverse 10 here 9 pi by 8 let this one as x so 10 x equal to 10 9 pi by 8 so that means you can write down this one as 10 pi plus pi by 8 okay so 10 pi plus theta that means here 10 theta so 10 pi by 8 so x equal to here pi by 8 as your answer now number 3 so sec minus 1 then sec 9 pi by 5 let this one as x so here sec x equal to sec 9 pi by 5 okay so that means here sec here pi 2 pi okay 2 pi minus pi by 5 so sec 2 pi minus theta that one equal to sec theta so sec pi by 5 so x equal to here pi by 5 as your answer it's very easy okay now let's move on to the next problem sum number 7 sum number 7 1 10 inverse then here 10 5 pi by 6 not equal to 5 pi by 6 what is its value okay so first here 10 inverse 10 5 pi by 6 first let this one is equal to with x that means you can write down 10x equal to 10 5 pi by 6 okay now in the place of 5 pi by 6 write down pi minus here pi by 6 so 10 pi minus theta equal to here 10 theta that means 10 pi by 6 so that means x equal to here 5 by 6 okay x equal to here pi by 6 so your answer 10 inverse 10 5 pi by 6 that one equal to pi by 6 that is your answer now number 2 cos inverse cos minus pi by 6 let this one as x okay so cos x equal to cos minus pi by 6 now you know that cos minus theta equal to only cos theta so you can write down this one as cos pi by 6 so here x equal to pi by 6 that is your answer now next one number 3 number 3 sine inverse then sine 5 pi by 3 let this one as x so definitely here sin x equal to sin 5 pi by 3 now in the place of 5 pi by 3 write down here 2 pi minus pi by 3 okay 2 pi minus pi by 3 so this one here sin here minus minus sin pi by 3 okay minus sin pi by 3 means sin minus pi by 3 so comparing both side x equal to minus pi by 3 its value okay now next one sum number 8 
sum number 8 find the domain of the following function 8 1 so here sine inverse 1 minus x so first let this one as y so the domain of sine inverse x you know that the domain of sine inverse x is minus 1 to 1 okay so first write down here minus 1 less than equal to 1 minus x less than equal to 1 so this one here minus 2 less than equal to minus x less than equal to 1 minus 1 it's 0 so multiply with 2 sorry multiply with minus so 2 here greater than equal to x greater than equal to 0 so x belongs to 0 to 2 okay so that means here the domain is 0 to 2 here the domain is here 0 0 to 2 that is your domain 0 to 2 so now the second one second one here sec inverse okay sec inverse 2x minus 3 so first here you have to know the domain of sec inverse so domain of the sec inverse is here minus infinity to minus 1 and here union then 1 to infinity okay so first you write down 2x minus 3 that is here less than equal to x and next one 2x minus 3 greater than equal to x clear so from the first one here 2x less than equal to 2 then x less than equal to here 2 by 2 that is 1 and from the second one here x 2x greater than equal to 4 so x greater than equal to 2 so the first one x less than equal to here 1 that means here the domain is minus infinity to 1 and here x greater than equal to 2 so that means here the domain will be 2 to infinity okay 2 to infinity now sum number 9 write the range of one branch of sine inverse x other than the principal branch so here y equal to sine inverse x so minus 1 less than equal to here sine sorry less than equal to x only not sine inverse x less than equal to 1 then write down here sine inverse minus 1 less than here sine inverse x less than equal to sine inverse 1 so sine inverse minus 1 that one equal to minus pi by 2 less than equal to here sine inverse x less than equal to here pi by 2 okay so sine inverse x belongs to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 okay that is the principal value so as here you have to find out the value okay you have to find out the value other than the principal branch so here sine inverse x belongs to minus pi by 2 pi by 2 and since the periodicity of sine inverse x is pi so definitely the next branch will be here pi by 2 okay pi by 2 and here 3 pi by 2 pi by 2 and 3 by pi by 2 that is your answer clear now next one here sum number 10 write the range of one branch of cos inverse x okay one branch of cos inverse x so write down here cos inverse x so you know that minus 1 less than equal to here uh, cos theta less than equal to 1 so cos inverse minus 1 less than equal to here cos inverse x less than equal to cos inverse 1 so this one here pi less than equal to cos inverse x less than equal to 0 okay now again you have to find out the value other than principal branch and now your answer is here as here the periodicity of cos inverse x is again pi okay the periodicity of cos inverse is again pi so this one here pi to 2 pi okay so that is your answer